What's up everybody, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Okay, so today is going to be a little bit of a different video. I'm just going to vlog it and show you what I'm doing today. Not too much special stuff going on, but enough stuff to, I think it could be interesting. So, first things first, I had an A9L um, ECU in the Fox, and so I actually sold it on eBay for 300 bucks, which I'm pretty happy about. That was, <laughs> that was pretty cool. So, I got that thing going, I'll show you the package. So, I packaged it up already, it is ready to rock and roll. So this is coming with me, and look how much dirty the Mustang got. It rained overnight. I'm upset. I'm so upset. All right, but I um I ordered some subframe connectors from Maximum Mo well from Late Model Restoration, Maximum Motorsports subframe connectors, and I got those. I kind of wanted to show you because I was super excited about them. They look awesome. They're su they're heavy though. They're like 40 pounds. That's the only thing I don't like, 40 pounds, a lot of weight for the car, but still a Fox body, still light, and I'm a small guy, so <laughs> it's not going to make that much of a difference. But um, here, let me show you real quick. So check it out. Look at this. I didn't pull it all the way out because they're they are pretty heavy. I'm not going to lie. But look at it look at the welds if it'll focus on it I mean such good quality so I don't know how to weld though so I'm gonna take it to someone that can do it for me but I it had like 50 reviews and they were all five star so that's why I went with maximum motorsports and it just looks super super cool the other thing I found out is I'm not gonna be using my McLeod twin disc anymore so all this crap I gotta get it out of the way but, so no more McLeod Twin Disc, and I'm gonna make a video about why I'm not using my McLeod Twin Disc. Kinda sad about it, but my transmission builder said that's a no-no, don't do it, you're gonna break your G5. So, RIP to the McLeod. So I'm gonna put all this stuff away, and then we're off to UPS, and then Harbor Freight, cause I'm gonna see if they have like a little car garage, cause Orange SRT is gonna have to be put in the rain, and the paint's too good for that. So I'm gonna try to see if I can find a, like a portable garage to put on my side lot, and then it'll have a home, and it'll be nice for the SRT. All right, let's go. All right, just got out of UPS. Look at my pretty little face. I lee local toilet. Okay, okay, just got out of um, UPS. Uh, shipped the package. Looked good. Everything went easy enough. That guy's gonna get his uh, A9L in like a couple days. So. He should be happy, but we're on our way to Harbor Freight, and see if we can give someone the sauce on the way there. Okay, so we got the box in the car for the stand, but you can't tell, I'm right up. I don't even know if I can make it. Good thing I'm not 10 feet tall, I wouldn't be able to do it. This is so uncomfortable. It's right in my back. I'm gonna show you, and it wasn't smart, because I just pulled in the, oh crap. I just pushed the box in, right? and. I didn't think about putting it to the passenger side because the seat was back. Because all my fat friends just lay the seat down and put it back and I couldn't fit anything in there. So now I'm up against, it's up against my seat when it could have been up against the passenger seat and I can, it's like I can't even breathe this is so bad. Right, so we're going over to Justin's right now, work on his 400 horsepower WRX. You're going to be seeing him a lot. I talk a lot of trash about him. He talks a lot of trash about me and my Neon. But screw him, because my Neon is going to beat his WRX. I just want to see if I can bang some gears while I'm two inches away from the steering wheel. I just want to know. This is, this is for science. I can kind of do it. just got to Justin's house and um, we're gonna check out his ST or no it's not an STI it's not that cool it's a WRX he's gonna be upset but uh, <laughs> we're gonna check it out but I just want to show you I fixed it so look at that it's on the other side now and I won't die on the way home whose car is faster yours or my dad's wait your dad wait yours no. 
Yours? My car's faster? Yeah. Okay, that's all I needed to hear. Because if you use the boost, you go speeding fast. If I use the boost, I go speeding fast? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah! All right, so all the footage I got from Saturday kind of went bad. I got some good stuff, so I'll put that in the video or what you just saw. But So today's Sunday, and we're getting a late start, but I got that um, the shed or the portable garage. And I don't know if I'm going to get the whole thing set up, but I'm at least going to get it out of the car, on the ground, and like some parts mocked up just to see where it's going to fit, how it's going to fit, and just some cool stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited about it. Let's go get it. Ten by seventeen portable car canopy. So we're gonna see if we can set this thing up. It's it's kind of windy today, but I think I can do it. It's not too bad. I'm like between the house and the trailer, so there's like kind of a wind block. So I'm gonna see if I can get this thing set up today. And I know it's not like technically a car thing, but it's car related. I got the majority of this thing done, so all I gotta do is tighten some stuff down, and then um, they give you like some metal stakes that you can put it in the ground and then it won't fly away, because living in the AV, it'll definitely fly away. <laughs> and so I'm gonna tighten this thing down, get the cover on it, get it down on the ground, make sure everything looks good, and um, then I'll be done, and I'll park my car in here, and we'll see how it goes. But here, check it out. It's looking pretty good. Just a little couple more tweaks. All right, we're getting close. I didn't show you, but I put these stakes in the ground and it took forever. It probably took me like an hour just to drill these stupid things in the ground. Here, those guys, just so this thing doesn't fly away over in someone else's yard. But it took me forever and now I'm tired. But I think I get to do the fun stuff and put the cover on it. So I'm gonna try to do it before it gets dark because it is almost dark. So it's dark now and I didn't get it finished as you can see. But I got the front cover on. Kind of weird, but it's coming together. So I will be back tomorrow to finish this thing up and good night. We're back. It is Monday. Okay, so we're on Monday. I just got home from work and we are going to finish the shed. Holy crap. And I think I did a couple things wrong. That doesn't look right. And I looked at the instructions and it's not right. So I'm gonna fix that up real quick and then get this thing going. And hopefully I'll be done today and I can get this video out soon. But 
So far so good. Let's get this thing done. I... Holy crap, I got it done. So the last thing I got to do is get the car in here. But, so one of the things I wanted to do with this is put like plywood down on the ground so the car's not in the dirt. Kind of defeats the purpose if the car's in the dirt. So, I mean, I got this thing up. I think I'm going to go to Home Depot and get some, like lay some plastic down and then some plywood over it and I, that'll be my base and my car can sit on that and it'll be pretty nice. But, I'm still going to put the SRT in here for now and then the Mustang and then the other SRT. <laughs> I'll show you what it looks like inside here. It's really big. I'm super impressed with it. Yeah, it came out really good. So I'm happy with it. Hopefully it lasts for a long time. If not, if it doesn't last, I have a warranty and I'll make them pay me back. So uh, <laughs> one way or the other, it's gonna work. But it came out good. I'll show you what it looks like with the car in it. Well, it fits pretty good. I mean, dang, it's like the perfect size. Fits this car in here great. I mean, I could even fit a truck in there. There's so much room. Like, look how crooked my car is and it still fit. I'm impressed. I'm really happy. So as soon as I get the plywood on the ground, this will be like a perfect little like temporary garage for my other SRT when I kick it out and put the Mustang in. So I'm excited. This came out great. So. Harbor Freight, I'll link it in the description. It's 10 by 17 um, portable garage. It, it, it's pretty good, it looks, I mean, we'll see how durable it is. Um, I'll let you know as it goes on. I know this video wasn't really that much about cars, but kind of was at the same time. I mean, I'm really just waiting on all my stuff for the Mustang and I'm gonna put in some filler videos every once in a while, but I feel like this was kind of fun and it turned out really good, so. I will have more Mustang content, more SRT stuff coming soon. Um, SRT might be getting E85, and I'm just waiting for the transmission for the Mustang to make it real fast. And yeah, so that's the end of today's video. If you liked it, like it, if, <laughs> and subscribe, and comment what you think in the comments below. Um, thanks guys, I'll see you next time. teeth out right here right now <laughs> don't you just love brothers <laughs> it's great Children, it's good. Brothers, kids. <laughs>